This device is very good. I like it because I've used it for a while. And the device is ideal for interviews, for film production. It's good for high quality and clear sound. Dual channel wireless receiver. It has 48 UHF channels. Selectable stereo and mono mode. Plugs and record functionality. Mic and line in. Suitable mute functions. Easy to read LCD display, automatic LCD locked function, monitoring sound by headphone output receiver, more than six hours continuous operation, operation range can range up to 100 meters without obstacle, power supply to AA batteries. With this guys, you are ready for a very good sound through the Boya technology. In order to set up this device very effectively, we need to know what came with the device so that we would know where to start from, which one to connect here and which one to connect there. This Boya BYWM8 Pro K2 has two transmitters and one receiver. It also came with um, omnidirectional um, lavalier microphone, these ones, omnidirectional lavalier microphones. And it also came with um, show mount adapter. This is, this is that one. You connect to the receiver and attach it to the camera so that it becomes stable. And it also came with stereo 3.5 millimeters mini plug cable. This is the one you will connect to the camera and the receiver. It also came with um, XLR output cable. This is the one you will need this if you want to connect your receiver to a mixer or to an amplifier that is for a higher sound or a mono or stereo sound from the mixer then this receiver has a belt clip the one you clip on your belt in, um, so that it also becomes stable and doesn't bring any shaking sound in the recording it also came with it with a tight clip this is the tight clip this is the microphone holder clip that you will clip to your shirt or your tie when you are recording. It doesn't come with batteries, so you have to buy your own AA battery. Each receiver uses two batteries, so it means that you need approximately six batteries in order to be able to set up this device. After knowing the things that came with the device, we will quickly move to um, setting up the, the receiver first. You see, this is the receiver, guys. This is the receiver. It has two poles. This is also the, the transmitter, one of the transmitter. This could be A or it could be B. Um, so we begin with the receiver. To begin, we will use the 3.5 millimeter Omni stereo cable. We will connect it to to the line in section. This is the line in section of the receiver, and this is the earphone section when you want to listen to the sound as you are recording. You insert or plug an earphone here. So let's go ahead and connect the stereo cable to the to the receiver then you you lock it they have made provision for locking so that it wouldn't bring any moving sound or noisy sound when you are recording it's good after connecting this this is the stereo side you will also connect to the camera or the device whether you are using your phone or any device you are using to record you connect it this side we have connected the side of the receiver um, so let's move on to the battery section this is this the, the the area in which you insert your batteries so you press and pull press and pull then it comes out like this i think it is a very good idea so here this is how to insert 
your batteries they have written the plus and the minus this is the plus side you insert it like that then you turn the other the opposite way because you have to balance the plus and the minus so now it's ready like that then you insert it back into the receiver here so we will move on to set up the transmitters the, in the transmitter you see you have the mic section the place that will actually receive the mic and also the transmitter also has an an earphone section where you can connect your earphone and listen to whatever is passing through the transmitter so for the transmitter we have to connect one of the lavalia mics to the transmitter so you look at the mic section then you connect you screw to tighten it so that you can avoid every movement now we are done setting up this is the clip side where you clip to your shirt or to your tie so let's move on to the battery section you press and pull you take two batteries here you take two batteries then you check the positive and negative you insert you do this on the opposite way because you are balancing the positive and the negative then after that you insert the same way you press it locks so we are done with uh, setting up the battery for the first transmitter we go to the second transmitter you take the remaining two batteries and press and hold we do the battery side first you press and hold check the negative and positive insert you do the opposite you insert then you slot it back in again yeah that's it so we move on to the lavalia microphone we do the same by connecting it to the mic section you press in then you screw to lock it up completely after locking you are done this is the body clip for the receiver to be connected to the camera so you just take it and connect it to the back of the receiver here this one helps you to be mobile with the receiver and the camera so after connecting the body um, the body clip we quickly go and set up the receiver and get it ready for recording so since our batteries are already in this is the power node or the power button for the receiver you press and hold until the receiver lights up now you can see the receiver is on now is showing um, receiver a is on channel 10 then volume of receiver a is on 28 then receiver a is on then now we move to receiver b so you keep pressing and you follow the the the, the information that appears receiver b is on channel 12 you press then back to the volume mm -hmm, of receiver a receiver a is on so receiver b on channel 12 receiver b on volume 28 the same receiver b is on so this is the stereo we are going to record on stereo mode in order you want to change to stereo or mono just click the set 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 until you see stereo you press minus or add then you change from stereo to mono remember that receiver a is on channel 10 and receiver b is on channel 12 don't forget that because that is how the connection will be built and also look at this you see the blue light is on indicating that the receiver is ready be looking at the blue light there and be looking at the receiver you will see some changes so now we take the one of the transmitters i don't know whether it's a or b unless we put it on so this is the power but power button for the transmitter you press and hold until it comes on so when it comes on it says this is receiver b and it's on channel 12 with a very full battery and also you have to check your battery levels be before you start your recording depending on the length of your recording now the channel is on channel 12 so now you see the receiver is indicating that transmitter b is ready you can see the light is on there the light is on there so it means that transmitter b is ready to bring out every sound because we have connected the channels in case you want to change this channel b to a this device has automatic lock after you've done your settings it locks itself so in order to open you press the plus and minus simultaneously together 
simultaneously you press and you hold until it opens now it's open to change from channel b to channel a you press and hold the set until it changes to channel a you can see so to change back to channel b you press and hold until it changes to b so you can do that for any of them you try to make sure this is b the other transmitter should be um a so that you can balance the sound okay so we go to transmitter a now that we know that the other one is transmitter b this one will definitely be transmitter a if it is not a you change from b to a to turn on this transmitter you press the power button here you press and hold until it turns on the moment it turns on it is locked you press the minus and the plus together until it opens it open now we are on transmitter a on channel 10 it's okay because um, the receiver is having transmitter a as uh, channel 10 you know the channels are from 1 up to 48 and the volume level of each transmitter is from 1 up to 31 so you can choose any volume level you like the higher the volume at times you can have some some she sound in in your recording so it's better you keep the volume at auto level which is just about let's say 15 between 15 and 20 volume will be okay for a good sound but um, for this lesson I didn't want to change the settings because we already saw that it came with a volume at 28. Let's skip it there. Okay, let's change the volume in the receiver to 25, I think. Let's just reduce the volume. Okay, this is lock. It has an auto lock, so you have to press a plus and minus together simultaneously until it opens. Then it opens. We want to change the volume of channel A and B to... 25 you press the set until you see volume now volume of channel a is on 28 is at 28 let's change to 25 so this is 25 for the volume of channel a you see set then channel a is on then it says that um, transmitter b has the channel 12 okay we, we keep that um, volume of transmitter B is on is at 28 we move to 25 minus 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 25 now you say set then from here it says transmitter B is on that means it's ready for sound recording so now we have changed the volume for both of them so we can move on with our first recording so guys to begin the recording you will take the the stereo cable and connect to your camera or your phone or the device you want to use then after that it is ready you take the one of the transmitters if you want to use the two of them or maybe you are two participants you want to use the two of them you can you can share among yourself so here you clip this to your tie or your shirt then from there you see this belt clip you clip it to your belt so that it will be stable without bringing any external or extra sound in your recording so now we are ready guys this is how to set up boya by wm8 pro k2 so with this you are sure of um, having a very good sound so guys this is how to set up this device and after this video i'm going to record another video where i'm going to be showing you how to connect this device boya lavella wireless microphone to your mixer and now loop the sound from your mixer to your camera for a very good production see you guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also give the video a like or a thumbs up and leave your comment down below for more when you subscribe guys put on the notification bell so that you will receive notification anytime we upload a video like this